What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Defender Pro XT from OtterBox for the iPhone 12 and 13 Pro Max. Let's check it out. So I'm back with another OtterBox review. Today I have the Defender Pro XT. I gotta be honest, I thought I was done with the OtterBox reviews. I did the Defender, the Symmetry, and the Commuter. And I gotta be honest, completely overlooked the Defender Pro XT. So let's check, jump into it really quick. Um, the packaging is super similar to everything else. Honestly, I can't see any difference other than the fact that this one says it's 5X tested. What I think is crazy, this big thing, this honking case, the Defender Pro, comes in at 4X tested. The Symmetry is 3X tested. And the commuter is 3x tested. I've been rocking the commuter uh, way more than I thought I would lately. Um, so pretty amped to see what this one's like. I have not opened this yet. One thing I did notice is it has a little notches on the side. So I wonder if the holster from the Defender will fit on this thing. Let's open it up and find out. Okay, let's find out this thing right. If this thing fits right away. Oh wow, it does. Uh, it's a little loose, but it does fit. This is the holster from the Defender Pro, the standard Defender Pro. So let's check out the packaging. You have the thing it was laying in, the cardboard it was laying in. Uh, copyright information about the Apple badges, how to install. And it talks about a holster, holster as well. Defender XT holster. Autobox.com slash Defender XT holster. So I guess this has its own specific holster. It's probably very similar to this, just a little bit shallower, I'd imagine. It did seem like there was a bit of a gap when I put it in there just now. But let's take a look. Right away, it definitely has a different feel than the regular Defender Pro. Um, it's one piece from what I can tell. Um, you got your outline for the MagSafe. A lip on there for your optics. Buttons that reach in for the volume rockers power. Throw the phone in there. Aha. These instructions are not very good. Doesn't say anything about pulling this out. So yeah, you gotta pull that piece of plastic out. Drop your phone in. Okay, that went in a lot easier that time. What's up everybody? So I'm recording this part in post and this part of the video is played at two times speed simply because watching this was terrible. Um, the tolerances are too tight, I think, on the front of the case in, to allow the ring to go back into the case. And I think if they had included a tool like a pick from an iFixit case, uh, which kind of looked like a guitar pick for those of you that don't know, it would have made this process a lot better. Trying to get my fingers underneath the rim and work it back around without real clear instructions was kind of a pain in the butt. Is it a big deal now that I know how to do it? No, I could probably do it in half the time, but it still shouldn't take that long to put your phone in a case, especially one that doesn't include any tools. Um, so if I had to go back and change anything, I'd say I'd probably use one of the picks from an iFixit case or maybe they need to fix the case a little bit and increase the tolerances. But either way, let's get back to the video. I'm gonna slow it back down in a second here. Well, I will definitely say that is the most annoying out of box case to set up, to uh, install your phone into. But now that it's in there, with all my fingerprints and heavy breathing done, um, it does feel pretty solid. Uh, looks like they left enough room for the screen protector. The screen protector is not getting pushed on from the sides. 
try the cutout that I notoriously do not like. That was not so bad. It does not feel as durable as the others. But I guess that'll do. It's definitely like a softer material here compared to like the commuter or symmetry. I know this is a little spot for a lanyard, one of those little cables that go through and wrap through itself so you can wrap it around your wrist and not drop the phone. Reaching in for the rocker for your mute toggle is not a problem. And the case feels solid. Um, I'm surprised that this has a higher drop rating than the other phones, than the phone cases, but have to rock for a few days, see what I think. Um, obviously it has that out of box quality and feel. It's a little slippery in the hand, but it does feel good generally. Um, just enough raise, raisivity. <laughs> just enough uh, lip around the edge to lift it up off the off the table. So now that I got the phone in the case, I will say um, it feels good in the hand. It's got a good high quality that you would probably come to expect from Otterbox nowadays. The installation is a little rough, not gonna lie. They need to improve those instructions a little bit. Um, if you're getting this case and you're installing it, when you go to take the inner ring out, the little notches on the sides here are your friends. And remember, they align up. So you peel off from the sides, just undo around all the edges and pull the inner plastic out, lay your phone in, put the plastic ring back in. Um, will take some practice. It is kind of a pain in the butt. If you thought the Defender Pro was hard, this is way harder to get the phone into. Uh, so far, my only gripe is I do not like the port cover on the bottom. It just feels flimsy, but I guess that's a pretty small gripe. The um, access to the speaker grill down below is fine. Access to the rocker is okay. Uh, it's weird. It's like got a different shape. It's like interesting than the normal cutouts. It's not just a hole. It's kind of finger shaped now that I think about it. Maybe that's intentional. It feels pretty good. Either way, you can get to it. Um, I feel like Otterbox is trying a lot of new things lately from the way they're, the cases feel in the hand to the materials they're using. It just feels like they're keeping it fresh. Um, so you got like kind of a hard plastic feel on the back and a softer but still hard feeling on the sides. I feel like this marries the typical Defender Pro style materials together rather than have them be two separate pieces. Yes, I know this is two separate pieces with the ring, but um, there's no big outer softer plastic wrap around the harder case. It's just one case with a ring around it to retain the phone. Whereas the Defender Pro is, like I said, a case inside of a case. You have the hard shell on the inside and the plastic wrapping around the whole thing. So I'm going to have to rock this out for a few days and see what I think. I'll probably do another shootout between all of the phone cases. I'm curious, do you have a Otterbox case that you use? Is there one that I'm missing? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you think there's another product I should be reviewing, I'd appreciate that as well. If you liked the video, hit me with that thumbs up. If you didn't, that thumbs down works as well. And as always, I'd appreciate the subscription. Peace.